So Don, talk to, give a little history on, on taxes and why we are so resistant to taxes. I mean, it really started at the beginning. With the revolution, sure. Right. Uh, don't want to get too deep into it, but yeah. our, our culture has been trained to resent taxes and, yeah. and hate taxes. It's one of the reasons we exist uh, independently. But what's happened with it, while we all want to uh, reduce taxes, that's a big part of what we do, right, is reduce taxes. Yep. But it's a big picture. And we've been trained culturally by the media, by the IRS, by the government, whoever, to be fearful and stressed. 100%. And, and, and we have uh, issues psychologically with the whole concept of it. So and, and we get bogged down in, in uh, losing sleep and stressing ourselves out and others and, and uh, having it really affect us negatively to try to fight this whole tax thing off. And it's really all needless. So Don, Don is, is, is trying to be very polite in <laughs> saying this, because I often use this term, Don knows I use it. Um, and, 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 you know, our, our clients, Don, is used to us being direct. So the truth is, and we all, we're all broken when it comes to, in money in general, we're broken with our own money. We rationalize things that we, based upon wanting something or fear. It's greed or fear causes us to be broken. And when it comes to taxes, we are really broken. There is so much fear and anxiety of the IRS about paying taxes on time, making sure that we don't make a mistake on taxes. It is, it overwhelms people. Mm -hmm. And you feel it every, every season, you hear it, people freaking out over $37 of interest because you missed a number or they were a little late, $37. They're worried about $37, like something bad or filing an extension. Is it going to cause them to come after me or audit me? Like it's not an accident. I mean, they have, this is what the IRS, this is what our government has always wanted us to be fearful. Right. So we comply and pay taxes. Exactly. Right. I mean, it is voluntary. I mean, sort of. Yeah. There's, there really is no consequence to any of it uh, to be where they're going to come get you in the middle of the night or something or knock on your door. It's all really monetary. It, it, so the worst thing they, at this level, right? I yeah. Mean, the worst thing that can happen is that if you pay beyond April 15th, you're going to have some sort of an interest charge, penalty interest charge. That's it. No one's judging you. It's all processed by computers, basically. So there really is no emotion in any of this. It's just a calculation of money. Right. And I know, I know people listening are going to say, okay, no one wants to pay an interest. No. They, they perceive it as a penalty. Of, of course, of course. It's really not even a penalty. No, it's down. really interest. It's all based on an amount due. It's, it, right. You were supposed to pay it by this date. You didn't pay it, so you're going to pay the government an in interest. It's right. really not even a penalty. Um, I think where people get a little anxious about is, is that they're tax fraud. Like that's when people get in trouble. If there's fraud, lying, but, but miscalculating something on accident or being a little bit late on your quarterlies isn't going to result in you going to jail. You're not, you're not going to get in trouble. You, you, you might owe a small amount of interest, yeah. but I think people get so worked up because, well, Don, it's been a part of our lives. I mean, it's for decades, all of us, we get our 1099s and it used to come earlier, right? 1099s sure. used to come a lot earlier. End of, end of January. End of January. And it used to be on time. And it used to be accurate. And then really by April 15th, most people got their, long time ago, really got yeah, their, long time, ago. long time ago, really got their tax return done by April 15th, right? So, and it used to be like, oh, it's tax day, do, 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 right? And we go sit down with our CPA and we iron all this out and we talk and people don't really meet with people anymore. Most CPAs, that's not really a thing in the real world where you're sitting down with your CPA. The, the t April 15th is really an artificial deadline. It's almost impossible to achieve mm -hmm. um, for most people unless you're doing it yourselves. 
uh, on any large scale, it's, it's impossible because you're getting amended 1099s. You're getting all kinds of amendments. You, you get amended in March. You, did you, you we, were getting amendments in April. We, we got some in August. Actually. In August, you got some amended. So now you got to go back on those April 15th deadlines. You have to now go back and amend that return because you got an amended 1099 in August. Potentially, yeah. <laughs> a potentially. <laughs> Potential. They're usually small amounts that by the time you get to August, it's a small amount. But, it's, but yes, conceptually, it, yes. So, 